Right. As the water recedes off the Samoan Islands, the scale of the damage from an earthquake-spawned tsunami is becoming more evident. The quake with a magnitude between 8 and 8.3 struck about 120 miles off the coasts of the island nation of Samoa and neighboring American Samoa. It was quickly followed by tsunami waves of 15 to 20 feet that roared ashore with little warning. The problem is where, where the coast, where the land is just right next to the earthquake, you typically don't have enough time to digest the data and get a warning out in an effective way. Dozens of people are dead and dozens more reported missing. Waves rushed in up to a mile inland and residents were left scrambling for safe ground. The roads are blocked and I mean it was it's cut into half. Like some of the part of the roads are in the ocean and stuff. Some cars are in the ocean too. Like houses, people. President Barack Obama has declared a federal disaster for American Samoa. FEMA is dispatching crews to provide support and assess damage, and the Coast Guard is sending relief. In Samoa, an entire beach village is reported leveled. International aid already is being promised to the country. The Australian government has uh, indicated to our friends in Samoa that we stand ready to provide uh, all forms of practical assistance to them in dealing with the aftermath of this natural disaster. While the earthquake and tsunami were big, they don't rival the scale of the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami. It killed more than 230,000 people. John Belmont, the Associated Press.